Today we're going to be doing something that's probably going to hurt my feelings, but we might get a laugh or two out of it. We are going to be reading one star reviews of some of my favorite books. Words can't hurt. Words are just words. Doesn't matter what other people think. People are allowed to have their opinions. All right, let's bring up Goodreads, even though I hate Goodreads. Goodreads is a terrible website. It is so outdated and they really need to fix it. I only have a Goodreads account for two reasons and neither of those are because I enjoy tracking my books on this website. It is so outdated. I don't even think you can do half stars on this website. Like what the fuck is that? But today we will be using Goodreads because unfortunately on Storygraph you can't filter by star ratings. I think the perks of being a wallflower is a safe place for me to start because I'm not too emotionally attached to this book. Yes, it used to be my favorite book and I do still think it's really good, but I just don't have that particular protectiveness over it anymore, really. There are almost 25,000 one-star reviews. I'm actually not surprised by that. This person left a whole dissertation as to why they didn't like this book, and as much as I appreciate the effort that went into this, I will not be reading it. I'm looking for those short and snappy reviews. Give me some funnies. This review is also a whole dissertation, but I'm just focusing on the beginning, which is the book be like, cry bitch, and then it has an interesting face. Steel Whisper said, what did I think? I think that no one is going to give me back the hours I lost trying to read this completely overrated book. All right, there are so many reviews here that I just don't feel like reading. <laughs> okay, a lot of these reviews are whole dissertations and I feel like this is a book that people would do that with. So I'm just gonna read one more. It's short, it's sweet, and it's to the point. I take back anything nice I ever said about this book. Shit sucks. Fair enough. Next, we're gonna look at This Is How You Lose The Time War. I'm expecting a lot of these one-star reviews to say that they didn't fucking understand this book, and that's completely valid. It's definitely one of those books where it's a hit or miss with people. You either like it or you don't, you get it or you don't, and you definitely need to trust the process. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that a lot of these people didn't trust the process. <laughs> Starting off strong, we have Anna who said, this is metaphor hell. It sounded like I just ran some text through Google Translate and got back a bunch of gibberish. Matt said, the book is called, This is How You Lose the Time War, but it should be renamed to, This is How You Lose My Interest. That's a good one. <laughs> There's just something that I love about a short and sweet one-star review, especially when it's something like this. This is how you write a shitty book. <laughs> Ivy here also gave us a short and sweet one-star review. It says, I don't know what's going on and I simply don't wanna know. Hey, you know what? Fair enough. Moving on to one where I probably will have to stop myself from getting angry, we have the Empress of Salt and Fortune. Who is messaging me? Do I have friends? Okay, the Empress of Salt and Fortune. This has an average rating of 3.96, which I think is fucking criminal. Let's just go to the one-star reviews and hope for the best. Hey, wait a minute. It has less than 400 one-star reviews, so I appreciate that. A majority of the stars are four stars. Correct. You are all correct. Cloud Fluff added a quote from the book, which is, do you understand? And they replied with, sorry, but no. I don't. And it looks like Cloud Fluff isn't alone because Angelica said, what is this book about, you ask? I couldn't tell you because I don't know what the fuck I just read. Angelica, I will tell you what you just read. You just read a masterclass in fantasy. It looks like a majority of people said that they just didn't understand what was going on. And that is something that I loved about this book. I wouldn't say that I didn't understand what was going on, but it's definitely the sort of book that has this vagueness to it that allows your mind to wander. You get to fill in the blanks and interpret things the way that you as the reader want to. And for some people like myself, I really like that in a fantasy book. But then of course I am aware of the fact that a lot of people don't like that. They want to be told what to see, what to hear, what to feel, what to think, which makes sense with the society that we currently live in. Next, we're gonna look at A Dowry of Blood. This one, I could see a lot of people hating, though they shouldn't because this is fucking perfection. Okay, this one says, pretty writing, but no details. What even happened? Hundreds of years went by and nothing happened at all. Incorrect. A lot of things happened, like orgies. Quinty said, yikes, a used and thrown away tea bag could have written a better book. There's a joke somewhere in there, but I just don't know what it is. Justin said, Gaslight, Gatekeep, girl boss." I honestly couldn't have summed this book up better myself, except I would be attaching that to a five-star rating. Okay, Thomas added this quote that says, I scented the taste. Is that actually in the book? Because if so, I, I don't remember that. That is, that is pretty bad. But still five stars, fuck off. All right, it's time. Let's look at one-star reviews of Tress of the Emerald Sea. At least it has an average rating of 4.42. My thing going into this is that I know that Tress of the Emerald Sea is not for everybody, okay? It is a cozy fantasy 
with pretty stupid humor. I won't lie to you. Those are the two reasons why I love this book, but you know, everyone has their own preference. Okay, well I can't share this one because it's just riddled with spoilers. Wait a second, what did I just see? I better not saw what I just, it bet, mm, I did see what I thought I saw. This person said, no, it's not the worst book I ever read, but somehow Fourth Wing was more enjoyable and I gave that two stars. There are a lot of things that I want to say, but if I say them right now, I'll probably get a lawsuit, so I'm just gonna keep it to myself. Sarah said, I don't how to explain it, but this book had too many words. Pretty words, though. If she thought this was too many words, wait until she finds fan fiction. This person said, I lost some brain cells trying to read this. Although it could be easy reading for children with special needs, Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do the little YouTube thing, you know, where you give it a thumbs up, you comment, you share, you subscribe, and I guess I'll see you next time. All right, bye. Leave, you're supposed to, you're supposed to leave now.